guys, my name is Gian and today I'll be teaching you how to play Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur on guitar. For this song, you're going to need a capo on the 3rd fret and it's going to be in standard tuning. I'm going to number the strings 1 to 6, 1 being the thinnest and 6 being the thickest. The 4 chords that he uses throughout the whole entire song are G, D, E minor, and C. So let's get started with the first chord. The first chord is G major. So for G major, you're going to need to press down the 3rd fret on the 6th string, 2nd fret on the 5th string, and then the 3rd fret of the 1st and 2nd string. So if you strum it, it should sound like this. For this song, we're not going to be strumming the chord, we're going to be using a specific strumming pattern, and that sounds like this. Okay, so to get started, you need to pluck your 6th string, and then 2nd and 3rd string, and then slap. So, 6, 2, 3, slap. Like that. And then, next, you're going to pluck 6, 2, 3 strings all together. Like this. But while you pluck, you're going to be taking off your ring finger, and that is the 3rd fret on the 2nd string. So you take off that finger when you pluck 6, 2, 3, like this. So up to that point, it should sound like this. Then you're going to need to pluck 6th string and then 3rd string. So all together, the G chord sounds like this. The second chord that he uses in this song is the D major chord. D major chord, you're going to need to press down the 2nd fret on the 1st and the 3rd string, and then the 3rd fret on the 2nd string. So this is what a normal D chord looks like, but for this song, you're going to need to add a thumb on the 2nd fret of the 6th string. So this is our normal D chord, and then you're going to add the 2nd fret on the 6th string. So when you strum this, it should sound like this. Okay. And the plucking pattern for the D chord is actually the exact same as our previous chord. So it's going to be 6th string, 2, 3, and then when you do 6, 2, 3, you take off your ring finger, which is the 3rd fret on the 2nd string, and then pluck 6, 2, 3, and then 6th string and 3rd string. So one more time, 6, two, three together, slap, and then take off your ring finger here and then play six, two, three, and then six, three. So all together, that should sound like this. So putting the G and the D chord together should sound like this. So our next chord is the E minor chord. So this is our normal E minor chord, just the 2nd frets of the 5th and the 4th string. But for this song, you're going to need to add a 3rd fret on the 2nd string. So it should look like this. So the plucking pattern for this is again the same exact thing as the two previous chords. So 6th string, and then 2-3, slap, and then when you do 6-2-3, take off this ring finger here. And then six, three. One more time. Six, two, three, slap. And then six, two, three, take off the spring finger. And then six, three. So putting that together for the E minor chord, it should sound like this. So putting all three chords together, so the G, D, and the E minor. So that takes us to the last chord, which is the C major chord. So for C major chord, you're going to need to press down the 3rd fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 4th string, and the 1st fret on the 2nd string. The plucking pattern for the C chord is a little bit different than the three previous ones, but it's pretty similar. So you're going to need to pluck the 5th string, and then 2-3. So it's similar to the other three chords, but this time you're plucking 5 instead of 6. So you do 5, 2, 3, slap, 
five, two, three, but this time you're not gonna remove any fingers. And then you do five and then two this time. So after you press two, you're gonna be taking your finger off like this. So. So remember all this, all these fingers are still gonna be on there. I'm just taking it off so you can see this finger a little bit better. So it's gonna be two and then just pluck the open string like that. So five, two, like that, okay? So putting that together, five, two, three, sap, five, two, three, and then five, two, and then take it off and pluck the open string, okay? So all together, that sounds like this. So when you put all four chords together, it should sound like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this is one of my favorite songs and it was actually really easy to play because all four chords repeat throughout the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and the bridge. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what other songs you'd like to hear, and thank you for watching!